In this video, we're briefly going to review the process for resynchronizing your Exostar hardware token that's used for electronic prescribing of controlled substances, often called EPCS. The token can sometimes get out of sync if the button has been pushed a number of times and has not been used to send a prescription. This could happen if it is in your pocket and becomes pushed a number of times, or perhaps if your children get a hold of it and push it. If you discover that you're trying to send a prescription and you enter the number correctly and eClinical Orcs is still giving you an error stating that the one-time PIN number was incorrect, this is how you reset it. You will need to log into eClinical Orcs as your own account and you'll go up to the Tools menu, ePrescription and slide over to ePCS Register Prescriber. When you click on it, this will open. You will only see this window if you are the user who is authorized to do EPCS prescribing. This means that the prescriber himself or herself has to do this. It can't be done by a medical assistant or anyone else. When you see this window, you click Manage Account, and you'll be taken to a new window. There are several options on this window. The one that we're looking at today is called Resync Token, which is right here. And it's as simple as it looks. You simply click the button, a new window appears, and you have two fields to enter a one-time password. Now, take your hardware device that you need to resynchronize, push the button, and it will give you a one-time pin. This is the token that my pin, or that my device just generated. Now, the number will stay on your token for approximately 30 seconds or so. This means that you need to wait for that period of time for the one-time pin to expire. You don't put the same pin number in twice. Now that it has disappeared from my token, I'm going to push the button again, and I'm given a new one-time pin. I confirm that it's correct, and now I click Resync Token. and I get a returned back to this menu, and my token is now resynced. And that is all there is to it. If you have resynced your token and find that it is still not working, please let us know in the eClinical Works support department. This screen is also used in case you lose your token and need to have it replaced. If this occurs, please let us know, and we will walk you through the process of replacing it with a new token. Thank you.